the brother, you keep up your work, brother. We see, keep up your work, right? We see what the came, the brother in the came, we see what they go through on a daily basis, man. Going out there, trying to bring love to our people. Guess what? You get attacked, man. Because we got adversary roaring around like the lion, seeking whom he may devour. We got adversary 24-7. That's why we got to stay prayed up. We got to stay fasting, prayed up, fasting, prayer, up, fasting. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right? So, by ye brethren are not in darkness. So, the brother in the spirit, they are not in the darkness. The sister in the spirit, they are not in the darkness. Right? Because they study the Bible. They study the Bible on a daily basis. That that day should overtake you as a thief. Nay, we don't want that. And we don't wish that on no one. Ye are all the children of light. There we go. Children of truth. Right? We are the light. That's what Amashiach said. And the children of the day, we are not of the night. The night just means darkness, evil. They're breaking the commandment. They're eating swine flesh. They're lying. They're killing. Right? They're stealing. They're doing all type of madness and weakness. Right? Paul said no. Paul is only our forefather that were living in Thessalonica. Right? He told him. He said no. We are not of the darkness. We are not of the night. Rather of the day. So let us, let us watch day fall. Right? And that's what Amashiach said. Okay? He said, We are not of the night, nor of darkness. So keep in mind. Right? Let's start with this article right here. Right? We're going to start with some of this article. Right? Because this time right now, right? This time right now is not the time to sleep. This is not the time to sleep. This is not the time to sleep. Right? Let's go to, actually, the Mosai just brought the spirit back again. I'll pray down to the Mosai. Let's go in the book of war, Jeremiah chapter 30, right? Let's go in Jeremiah 30, right? I'm going to read verse 6, all right? Let's get, we're going to bring out Jacob trouble. Because a lot of brothers don't know what's going on. Brother and sister don't know what is going on, right? Let's go into it, okay? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and let's read from verses, verses 7, actually, right? I won't even read 6, right? Uh, no, let us read from actually 4, right? This was the promise the Messiah made unto the elect, unto our brother and sister, those that will repent, come out from Christianity, Islam, yoga, Buddha, you know, Hinduism, um, witchcraft, Freemasonry, Satanism. You know, all type of weakness that our people, they sold their soul into just to please men, women, you know, Satan, and the list goes on and on and on. There was a promise of deliverance. If we repent and we serve the most and we seek the most side diligently, honestly, not being hypocrite, not being fake, no. Not based on money, okay? So, let's see what the most High promised. So we're gonna read Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 4 through 9. Okay? And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. So you gotta understand. This promise is given unto the northern kingdom, which is what Israel, and the southern kingdom, which is Judah. Twelve tribes. Keep in mind, twelve tribes. You got three tribes mainly in the southern kingdom which is what Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. However, the Levi have been uh, dispatched. The Mosai dispatched the Levi in all the 12 tribes, mostly in the 11 tribe. Okay? Even though they were separated, guess what? There were still some Levi among the northern kingdom. Yes, there were still some Levi among them that even came here on the northern hemisphere, right? A land where no man ever dwelt. Asherah, right, which today the Edomite, the hidden they call war, America, the Caribbean, right, and the list goes on and on and on, right? So let us address the say and concerning, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel, northern kingdom, okay, the so-called Latino, native Indian, the so-called, you know, uh, Taino, and the list goes on and on and on, right? And concerning Judah, so both kingdom, both we we became two nations, right? Two nations. You can read that in the book of Ezekiel. For that said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling. So our people freaking out right now with the conflict in Ukraine, you know, the conflict, you know, uh, uh, between USA 
and uh, Russia, you know, NATO against Russia, you know, they're putting Russia into the corner, they're baiting Russia, you know, right now, they're baiting Russia, Is a lot of going on, right? You got China, you know, prepping up, it's a lot of going on, right? It's a lot of event, right? So let's see, he say, for that said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, trembling, people scared, they're freaking out, of fear, and not of peace, right? And you know, the reason why people's feeling this way, is because of what they're still in the Christian mindset. And because they're still into this religion of war. This main religion of war. Democracy. Uh, I'll say freedom. Uh, Christianity. Islam. That's just the thing killing our people. And nothing killing our people than those main things. Politics, democracy, freedom. Christianity, Islam, witchcraft, those are the things killing the so-called black satin and nothing else. That's the main thing. These are strong wine. The strong wine, when you read in the Bible that we be drunken of the wine, drunken of the wine, it's not literally talking about the alcohol. It's literally talking about what? The lie and the philosophy. Look at how people live. A lot of them are Christian. They don't even drink alcohol. And they, listen, they're out of their mind. They don't know what's going on. They have no clue whatsoever. They don't know. They just go to church every Sunday. They have a big old ass Bible, and that's all. That's all. Let's continue. Say, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travel with child. Does a man can a man give birth to a baby? No, it's impossible. I said, impossible. Okay, whatsoever you believe, whatsoever you study, okay, is impossible. Okay, he said. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins? As a woman in travail, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. That's the question of the Mosaic. Alas, alas, for that day is great. Which day? So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob trouble. So this Jacob trouble right now, brothers and sisters, Ye so-called African American, so-called blacks, Nigerian, Ghanaian, so-called Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominicano, and, and, and Boliviano, Peru, Pe, Peruvian, right? Ticos, Catracho, and the list goes on and on and on, man. He said, but he shall be saved out of it. He shall be saved who? Jacob. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. Israel and Judah. The 12 tribe. Now, is all of our people be saved? No. No. Okay. Only the elect, the one-third, okay? But he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, the yoke of Esau. That's what the Mosai is doing right now. Meanwhile, you got rebellious, sell out, or learn and ignorant of our people running around, going against the Mosai. Some of them blasphemy against the Mosai, against the Mashiach, and against the Holy Spirit, man. Going off, speaking against the dignitary, which are nothing other than the Mosai, Yahweh, the angel, the prophet, and the list goes on and on and on. He's not talking about your politician, no. Okay, he said, Well, the Mosai said that I will break his yoke from off thy neck because the yoke is on our neck right now. The yoke of Esau, Edom is on our neck. That's why we need visa, we need birth certificate, right? That's why you need to buy a ticket, right? Right? That's why, you know, you need a license, you need this and that, you need to pay taxes, you got to do this. That's why, because the yoke is on our neck. Alright? So, but the Mosai said he will break his yoke from off our neck. And will burst that bond. We're in a bondage right now. We're seeing a bondage until it shall be taken out fully out of the way. He must be, and he is about to be taken out of the way fully. Fully. All right, keep in mind. He said, and will burst thy bond, a stranger is so Edom, the heathen, the Chinese, the Arabs, and the list goes on and on, the East Indian, the Pakistani, the Ethiopian, the Egyptian. Okay, keep in mind. A stranger shall no more serve themselves of him. So who is abusing us right now as we're speaking? Esau, Edom mainly. 
after Esau, Edom who? The so-called Arabs. You know why? They're the one that give up Christianity in Islam. The vast majority of the so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian, they're being ruled and governed by who? Either the so-called white men or the so-called Arab men. That's all. Those are the main figures. You go in the book of Psalm 83, you can read about it. It's plain and simple right there. It's not written in dark saying. It's plain and simple. All right? Now, you need someone to, 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 to teach you pretty much. All right? So keep that in mind. He said, he said, but they shall serve the Lord, the Yahweh. You see, that's what the brother, the brother waiting for. Okay? But they shall serve the Lord, the Yahweh, and David the king. Now, when you see David our king, he's talking about who? Amashiach. Amashiach. Now, we'll be under David as well. Because you will see David, Solomon, Amashiach, but who will be the main king? Amashiach. Okay? The reason why he mentioned David because Amashiach is from the tribe of who? David. David is from the tribe of Judah. You see what I'm saying? However, David will have a high-ranking position in the kingdom. We are another. We don't need to argue. We don't need to talk about that. Solomon will be what? Solomon will be sitting on a high seat as well. But who will be the main king? Amashiach. Okay. That's a beautiful thing. Right? He said, And David the king whom I will raise up unto them. Whom I will raise up unto them. Right? So, Amashiach, what did he say? Let's read some of the word of Amashiach. Let's read it. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24. Right? And let's read verses 42. He said, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. We don't know. So let's get into this article. Right? I have them printed out. Right? Right? I won't read. I won't go through everything. I'll read a little bit and I'll leave it up to you. Right? And you go do your own research. I'm going to give you the title so you can look it up. Right? You can look it up. Right? So let's go right here. This is the first one. The first article I'm going to read is this. Vladimir Putin, ally, wants London, right? London is UK, England, okay? Will be bombed first if World War Three breaks out. Because you realize this either man in England, they be, listen, they be playing the pyro man. They be playing the pyro man all this time. They be having a lot of wet dreams, right? Boris Johnson be having a lot of wet dreams, Right, they be having a lot of wet dreams, and they have nobody to back them up to tell them, hey, refrain. But guess what? The Mosai putting hook into the jaw. That's the Mosai hooking them up with the jaw and dragging him. Is the Mosai dragging Boris right now? Boris Johnson, he doesn't know what's going on. He think right now he know what's going. On. No, the Mosai putting the hook into his jaw, and dragging him. Cause he called a couple of days ago. Was it like four or five days ago? One of his uh, guys, right? The secretary of, of uh, 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 defense or army or the general, he came on the TV. What did he say? He told the British, "Say we are get ready to go to war in Ukraine and we must win." He literally said. Maybe he forgot the history that England was at war in the 1800, right, against the Soviet Union. And guess what happened? They get deal a blow. It's gonna happen again. It's about to happen again. So, brother and sister, brother and sister that live in UK. Stay prayed up and fasting. Ask the Mosai to guide you. Ask the Mosai to guide you to our beloved brother and sister that live in the UK. All right? Keep in mind. Don't be sleeping. Stay prayed up and fasting. Pray up and fasting. You got to be praying. You got to be fasting. Ask the Mosai to guide your steps to deliver you. All right? Let's read it. Say, Vladimir Putin, Ally wants London will be bombed first if World War III breaks out. London will be the first strategic NATO target to be hit by Russian missiles, right, should a third World War erupt. <laughs> a close ally of President Vladimir Putin has claimed, speaking on Russian state TV, and that was on Friday. That was on Friday. Okay? Friday. Andre Guru Layov, an MP who sits on Moscow Defense Committee, right, described how a possible full-scale invasion of NATO's Baltic state member will work. Mr. Guru Lyov 
a former military commander and member of the pro. Right? So keep in mind, that's one article. So you can look it up. And all this leading to, is leading to what? The destruction of Babylon the Great. We're about to witness the destruction of Babylon the Great. It is going to come through this attack that they've been deliberately doing against Russia. Because at some point, the Mosul moved the spirit upon the same NATO member. Seven or ten of them, they're going to turn around and they're going to point, you know, the sword toward Esau, toward what Babylon the Great is about to happen. Most people think Russia is just going to do it. No, Russia will be used. But Russia, since the economy of Russia, they're going to pressure Russia to the point the Mosul move the spirits around. And the same member of the NATO, the European Union, they're going to realize that, you know what? Babylon the Great is leading on into war, destruction, total, totally destruction. So we don't want to follow him. Let us go around and, 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 and take it.